so I have the package here. The thing is, I was looking for the ordinary orange bag, and I was like, what the heck is that? And I was like, oh my god, it's Dino! <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and having a fantastic day. Today we are going to do a little bit of a sneak peek of what Timu has to offer yet again. So Timu has reached out to me. I have the bag here. Now what I would say, I was so surprised when the packaging came and I'll show you what it came in. I haven't opened up the actual um, bag itself as you can see the Ziploc bag. But it came in this and I busted it all open. I'm thinking, what is this? I, because I was expecting the normal orange bag that says Tebu, but it, it wasn't that. So I opened it and then I realized when I saw the Ziploc bag here that their items are being transported in, um, I was very surprised. Okay, so nevertheless, we are here. So as I said, Team has reached out to me and I'm so happy to be doing this um, show and tell of the actual products for you. Now, before I move on any further, I'd like to let you know that this is going to be a very honest review. So the items I've requested is items that I can actually use and I'm sure that they will be useful to you also. I will put all the details on the screen for you so that you can know what you're looking at and what the prices are. You also get get a coupon bundle for you to use okay so i think it's a really good deal as i said um what else can you go wrong so we're going to check out some quilting items today and again i have selected some fabrics i don't know what they look like i haven't touched them but we're certainly going to open up and see what it looks like all right so let's get started on this i have my trusty bottle of water here so that i can get um hydrated once i go through this and now i would say if you think my background is a bit oh is she not in her sewing room i am at home it's just that i i wanted to go somewhere else rather than in the sewing room it's a bit hot as you can see the sunlight is coming in and um, sometimes it gets really dark when the sun goes down and then it gets really bright. So I thought in my kitchen and my dinner table was the best, best lighting for you to see the items. All right, so let's get started, guys. Okay, so tipping it all out now. Okay. All right, guys, so this are the items, or well, say these are the items. I'm not, I haven't requested too much, but the, some of the things that I really wanted to look at, and I've been thinking about ordering for myself before Timu contacted me, were the threads. So I really wanted to try them out, and I've ordered um, two different colors because I really want to test them out, okay? So I'm gonna put all the prices on the screen for you. And then that way you can see what I am actually seeing and what it actually costs. Another thing that I was eager, very eager to try out was their quilting rulers. And again, I am going to show that to you as well as this one here. We will test them out. There's also this size thread as well that I wanted to, um, to see what they work like. All right, so let's go through the items. We're gonna start off with the quilting ruler and this diamond one here. I'm gonna put my glasses on for this because you know I'm blind. This diamond one here, it's a one piece sewing template, irregular shape. Um, it's obviously acrylic and it's um, four nine, sorry, 448. You do get choices. You have four options to choose from and I'll upload those as well. Um, so let's open it up and see what it feels like. It does feel lovely and sturdy. It's a seven inch and there is a, a plastic, <coughs> excuse me, to actually take off. So you can see the seven inch there and you have your diamond there and you have your area there where you need to put in your, um, your quilting toe. All right. Um, obviously, the quilting toe you would use is, with this is the ruler quilting toe. All right. You wouldn't use your ordinary quilting feet with this one. All right. So it must be a ruler. I will demonstrate how to use this on something. Okay. But this one, you get four different items to choose from. So this one I have chosen is the Model D. 
and um, this one is a diamond shape as I said you can also opt for the candy cotton which is the meandering shape and I'll put all of those on the screen as I'm speaking about them um, you can also do the bubbles but well, they call it the bubbles but I think we in the quilting world we call them the ribbon candy of course the diamond one and um, the meandering so there's a cotton candy and then there is a meandering which again is really nice and simple to use so that's that one so as 448 and again I've chosen the D all right so we will try that out in a mo um, I'll go to the next set of quilting rulers let me move this to the side because then that way I don't get too confused so the next set of quilting rulers are these one here so let's open them up and see what they look like. Okay. All right. So you get this one here as well. Now, how much is this? Let's have a look at this. This, oh, this is, it's a four piece ruler border set, um, a template set for sewing, and it comes in at 25 28. Okay. 25 28. So I'll show you all the designs. The acrylic looks nice and good, actually. Nice and sturdy. I'm pretty pleased with this, to be honest. Um, I really, because I've been looking at them, and I really wanted to know what they feel like. You know, the, the importance here is what they feel like, and, you know, being able to feel confident to put it um, on your sewing machine. So you have this one here, which gives you this design. So hopefully you can see it there. It will give you that design. And obviously this one here. So that's number two. You get like a hard shape. All right. And it gives you sort of lines around in here. So you can see initially what your design is going to look like. This one fits in like so. We get that right. So it fits in there like so. Okay. There you go. All right. So again, I will definitely try these out. This one is three by 1.5 and this one is two by one inch. All right. Okay. As I said, 25, 28. It, my only concern is that they don't break, but as I said, they feel really sturdy. They feel really sturdy. I'm just trying to bend it there, but they feel really sturdy. Quilting rulers normally are quite expensive. So if these work, then you're definitely on to a winner. I would say I like the fact that they did send it in a little pouch so you can keep them safe. The other one did not come in a little pouch. This one just came in a plastic wrapping, but I'll just store them all there anyway. And we'll have a play with them and see what they look like. Now the next, and I just dropped it. Now that's a good, that's a good thing. Let's see if it, it held itself together. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> oh well, nothing's broken. So that was a good unplanned test. All right. So the next one on my list here is a 10 roll set, 1000 yards of sewing thread. It's polyester. And it says for sewing, needlework, or quilting. So that's how it's been advertised. Let's open up one and see. Let's tear it open and see. It's nicely wrapped. That I will give it. Now, my sewing machine can be a little bit iffy about, as you know, I've got a few sewing machines. But the ones that I use right now for quilting, my quilter's choice, she is a little bit fussy okay she really likes expensive um, thread now these come in at 1778 they were originally 29.99 so you get a 40 percent discount so you get 12 colors i'm going to take this off and see what it looks like you know, I am I am a bit of a thread snob. I'll be very honest about that. Um, because a thread snob, Karen, you just made that one up. I'll be honest, I am. But I'm willing to try it and see what they feel like. I mean, even if I can't use it for quilting, I should be able to use it for piecing. All right. Now, usually, 
I wouldn't buy thread like this because I said my sewing machine can be a little bit fussy uh, because she likes expensive things just like her owner. <laughs> I'm trying to get the end here and I'm re oh there you go I've got it right okay I mean I wouldn't be able to tell until I actually start quilting with it it is polyester I have used polyester on many occasions for my quilting um, in fact I'll be honest I use polyester at the back for my quilting and I use cotton at the front so on top of the quilt so, but I will try this both ways to see what it looks like the colors are beautiful do like this color here uh, but let me take this one out again because sometimes you know with the plastic around it can play tricks on your eyes it's sort of a mustard color this is beautiful nice color goldish color so and I like using different colors on my quilts because I just like to be different just like it to really stand out you know I love this color this is really nice this orange burnt orange color here it's lovely all right guys so we will definitely try I do have a little piece of a block a piece of a block that I, I can use let's look at this one now let's look at this one here this one comes in at 1928 so the first one was 17 so this one's a little bit more pricey um, it was originally 30.79 so that's what a packaging looks like you get a little bit of description at the back there it says hundred percent spun polyester thread length 1,000 yards color number 12 color 12 spools per plastic box so it says high quality flexible and durable works well on a variety of sewing machines meet the needs of most home sewing projects all right so it doesn't say it's a quilting thread whereas the first one did okay again beautiful colors beautiful colors there is a lot of thread on that on those and those spools there um, there's not much I can say about this until I actually try it out I think the proof is in the pudding that is really where the testing is I am so excited to try this out I mean if it fails I will be angry <laughs> all right so there was another thread as well that I wanted to try out and I'm was this one here I try I'm really want to try this because these are the sort of things I use and as a quilter I am not the only one now it actually says on my screen here these are almost almost sold out so these are 100% polyester sewing thread perfect for sewing lovers garment and hosiery okay this is 468 very cheap the threads very cheap as we all know if you want very good thread it can be very expensive now hmm, I must admit this does seem to look good yeah I will I will admit that from just looking at it oh huh. interesting I must admit this looks good I love the gray because you, uh, you know I love using grays on my quilt so the color is nice and bright there you can see it so I don't want to get a thread cut <laughs> yeah it hmm all right all right all right all right okay all I've all I gotta do is try them that is the only objective now is literally just to try them okay let's move on guys okay so I also picked up some fabric okay so now these one come in a pack of 50 and these are advertised at $3.48 for a pack of 50 
Is it these ones? Yes, it looks like this one, yeah. So let's see. Now I'm not sure if it's five inches. I don't think it's five inches. It looks at least four and a half. Let me get my ruler and try it out. Let's do a little bit of measurement, guys. Hold on. All right, guys, so I have my ruler here. And this ruler, let's pull it down and see what she measures as. So it's not four and a half, it is exactly four inches. All right, so these are four inches and they are priced at 348. Let's look at the different color variations. So you get this color here. Lots of greens, what else to say, a few, few green, which is nice. I mean, it is cotton. I can definitely feel that it is cotton. I wouldn't say it is of the highest quality or the highest grade cotton, but it is. Colors are nice, so I would say something like this will be suitable to use, such as a table runner, table mat. That's what I would use it as. I probably wouldn't necessarily put it in a quilt. Um, no particular reason. I just think something as simple as this or, or a wall quilt yeah colors are lovely it, i like the way it rate it it varies it, from lights to darks which is good um yeah i mean there's nothing else i can say colors are lovely so you know if you're looking for scrap pieces of fabric and you haven't got any i think these will be ideal i love this that's nice these will be ideal to get to get 50 for four dollars 68 because normally you can buy scrap fabrics can you i used to buy fabrics when i was in london and the i will they will come literally at these sizes as well and they were absolutely beautiful yeah and i would use them for making a wall quilt or a, a table mat or something that's what i used it for but these are lovely so at 468 again that's really good now the next thing that I requested was some Halloween um, fabrics. Why? Well, Halloween is coming up, isn't it? And I really wanted to make something for Halloween. So let's open up these. These are priced at $3.98. It's so the five pieces you get. It's a patchwork pumpkin pattern. Now these are definitely a better quality of cotton than the first one. This is nice. Oh, this is lovely. This will make a nice um, project for a child. You don't get much, do you? You just get, it's like almost you're paying a, what is three three ninety eight, Like a dollar something. Let's have a look at it. The back one is lovely. I like that. That's really nice. This will make a nice you know, cushion, a pillow for Halloween to decorate the house or even table mats, as I said. I'm trying to separate it here, but I'm... there you go. All right, so this one is a stripy color here. That's it, they're all laid down front sides together. So again, that is it, guys. Oh, this one's nice. Yeah, I mean, you don't get much. $3.98 for five, so not bad, not bad. Right, there's another one again. This one is priced at $4.28. So this is another five-piece set, and it's also classified as a pumpkin pattern. So let's see what this looks like. Ideally, you can combine them together and make a project can you so I love this oh ooh, this is beautiful I love oh this is lovely guys look at this oh my god now I would prefer all of it was like this that is beautiful look at that absolutely gorgeous love that it actually says happy Halloween and I just love how the colors coordinate with each with each other absolutely gorgeous let's find another one 
this one is definitely a better quality than these smaller squares here definitely they're not see-through but they're certainly a little bit thin but I will say for the price it represents that okay so the next one underneath this let's have a look and see if I can get them out together there you go I think I need some nails guys oh my god that one is lovely. I still haven't gotten this together out as yet. Let's have a look. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love the black one. So pretty. But right, look, so you can't see my fingers behind there, can you? So they're not thin, which is very good. Very, very good. Beautiful. I mean, if you want to make a quilt, you could simply order enough to make a beautiful Halloween quilt. Let's measure this and see. So that is five there. So these are 10 inches squared. Let me just do the other side. So the five there stops there. Yeah, these are 10 inches squared. So that's pretty good. I love that. How much is this? 428. Hmm. It's the same size as the other one. So again, They'll make a really lovely quilt for a child. You can put them both together with some other fabrics, very similar colors, and make a beautiful quilt. Love that, that's nice. I have never made a Halloween quilt before, so this will be the first time, and I'll definitely show you guys what that looks like. Now, let's look at this one. This one, it says 100% cotton. Can you see it there? 100% cotton. And this one looks like 10 inches as well. Very um, vintage floral prints, I would say. Very much so vintage floral prints. Love that. Again, not see-through because you're not seeing my fingers behind it there and you're literally having really nice light. Oh, I love this. Look at that. So pretty. Absolutely pretty. I would definitely use these with other pieces of fabrics. Definitely use this. I, again, would definitely... I'll probably, in all honesty, guys... I would use these together with this. That's what I would do. And I can use these both to make a really nice quilt. Beautiful. Love this color. I mean, my thread will go really nicely on this. Really lovely. Love that. This one is nice as well. And then you have this one here, which is a bit, I think, very, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> very plain when it comes to the others. These are these ones are a little bit more brighter than this one. So very nice, I'm happy with that. Okay, now the last two items on my list here is these prints. Now again, I ordered these Halloween printouts or iron-on to see what they would look work like, obviously in preparation for Halloween. So these are prints on, so iron-on prints. So let's see what they look like. I'll take it out the plastic wrap. So this one says, okay, let me just open it up rather than try and read it through the packaging. I think it says Pumpkin Mama. <laughs> pumpkin Mama. In Australia, yeah, they go kind of wild for Halloween as well. Oh, wow, this is pretty good. So it's just simply an iron on. So what I do have is some white um, pillow covers that I'm going to iron these on and show you guys what they look like. So that's it there. So this is the Pumpkin uh, Mama. And this is $2.79, so nice and easy. 
to decorate your home with um, the other one is this one here as well it's the same thing this one is also 248 so this one here okay is 278 sorry this is 278 this is a 278 and this one is 248 I got that wrong well here we go let's look this one you have you get two with it yes you get a mini and a big one so that's the big one that's pretty cool isn't it that's lovely these iron on this will be nice on the t-shirt as well and then you've got the mini so look at that it's so cute <laughs> so guys let's go iron these on and see what they look like and then we'll do a little bit of quilting and then we will i'll just give you my final conclusion of what i thought of all of this from timu all right let's go do that now all right guys so i have the little one here and i'm going to try it now there is a rough side of to where you put it down obviously and this is the front side so i am just going to put it in a corner here and i'm just going to measure out where i want both of them so that is the bigger one so what i am pressing on just to make sure i make this clear this is just simply a actually i got this from timu this is just simply some um cushion pillows that i have here okay and i haven't used them so i thought the easiest to just put it on this i have the zipper side towards me and i'm simply going to iron it down again that's the rough side i'm just going to put it in position where i want i will give this a little press so that it's nice and warm the iron is not on steam okay and uh, i'm going to start with the mini one i'm not going to put it in that corner there and i'm just going to make sure and measure that it's of a nice distance apart i'm happy with that so wish me luck guys i hope it doesn't stick onto my iron so i'm just gonna as a precaution i'm just gonna put a little bit of paper now you should use parchment paper but i haven't got any i'm just gonna start off with that first okay i'm peeping just to make sure it's fine I'm just gonna keep that heat there now ideally you really should go on it let me just test okay 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 so now not destroying the iron because the iron cost a lot of money <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah that's it looks fine so let's hold it there for a couple of seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two one all right i'm gonna lift that off now i hope it has done i'm gonna take the paper and go back over it again just to make sure that's done for another 10 seconds and hold it in spot 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right here we go okay let's hope this has noisy <laughs> oh my god beautiful absolutely beautiful right here we go again the big one now the big one oh woohoo <laughs> so i'm just gliding it very slowly as i said the heat is not on steam i'm just gliding it over oh my god I am so excited it worked out. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Right, okay. So, a couple more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and I'm going to take the paper put it over it and do the same thing yet again 
My iron was beeping because I touched the temperature gauge. So he said to me, hey, which one, which temperature do you want to be operating at? Right, so I'm just going to move it up to the top a little bit because the paper is smaller than the print. All right, so I'm going to do 10 seconds again to finish it off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's see if it comes out. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, guys, look. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, uh, oh my God, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that works beautifully. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. I'll show you both of them at the end. Okay, guys, so this is a tre the thread I'm going to use. I'm going to most likely go with this color here. I think it looks really nice. And in case you haven't noticed, I have taken the fabrics that I we just looked at and I've made this very simple, quick, um, table topper so this is the pattern I will show this I will show you to you how to make this pattern in the next video on another pill but for now I just wanted to create something with the fabric so you can see what it looks like I think it looks really nicely so I have a machine all set up there so we're gonna add the thread I'm going to use um, this one on the top and I think I'll probably go for this one at the back um, I like the color so let me show you the back very quickly so that's the back of the fabric so I do feel that this one here will show up really nicely on there because I really want to show the pattern I could use something that just subtle in but I will if I decide if I change it obviously I'll let you know but that's the back for now and this one is the front I don't think there's any more sort of subtle color possibly that one may work but I'm going to try them out and let's see how they work all right guys so i'm going to have a go with it now and see if it actually breaks the thread um i am going to do some swirls now one of the things with quilting is that if the thread can handle the swirly motion then it's a good quilting thread all right i'm going to do it on the white so that it shows up and you can see it a lot more clearly so the machine's all threaded and the top thread is in as you can tell you can see the orange thread and the bottom one is in <coughs> all right i'm not going to wear any glass i'm only going to do a small bit and we will know immediately whether the thread could handle the quilting or not if it breaks then we know it cannot handle it all right it will most likely be suitable for piecing all right so let's have a go hopefully my hands are not in the way I'm going to try and do it without my hands being in the way. I'm just going to stop there and take this out. So, so far, so good. That's a good start. Oh, and the thread is gone. So, and one of the ways of seeing that is if the thread has run, so it's literally, and I've only just done a little turn. So you can see where the thread has stretched out there, where it's gone thin. That tells me it's not suitable for quilting because a normal quilting thread, if it breaks, it would break clean. It wouldn't give you where the fibers are stretched out. So I'll try again and re-thread and see what happens. All right, so I have re-threaded. Let's go again and have another go at this and see what we get. I'm gonna try and start back exactly where I was. And again, I'm going to take it real slow um, and see what we what happens. So here we go. Again, I'm just going to pull that out. Yep. 
yeah and it breaks again so I'm afraid it is not suitable for quilting all right guys I just had a thought um, I switched over to my thread which is the red one there and that is the Timu um, orange one um, but my thread was also snapping but then I remembered that I have not changed my needle for quite some time so I've got the last um, quilting needle there so I'm going to swap it over and then I'm going to try the Timu thread again and see how it works so um, yeah let's try that out properly before um, I go so that you have a real informed clear um, concise um, decision to make okay guys so you are looking at the cushion so that is what the fall one looks like looks really good isn't it really pleased with that outcome and this is the mama and mini mama there the pumpkins look really beautiful so i would say this is a definite definite go to it's been really good it doesn't feel rough or anything so on a t-shirt this will work really nicely really really proud of these they're beautiful all right so let's put this there now this is the back of the little bit the small the little bit the small quilt that i was making that's the back and this is the front so the fabrics have worked out beautifully absolutely gorgeous really really happy with that and the quilting has come out really nicely as well i did use my own um, quilting thread for this one as you know um at the back though i did use the brown one from timu um but yeah but overall it looks really nice i'm really loving the fabrics definitely love the fabrics so guys i hope you enjoyed this review of the timu's products do like and subscribe for more and welcome again to my channel and I will see you next week so let's give a good shout out to Timu thank you very much Timu for sponsoring today's video and I look forward to um, showing you more of their items so don't forget guys I will definitely um, do a video a follow-up video on how to use the quilting rulers so that you know how to use them so bye for now happy quilting and I'll definitely see you